Hello and welcome to today's live coaching call and community conversation. Today we're going to be talking about intermittent fasting. We're going to be talking about how we can use something like intermittent fasting to really help us change the way we think about taking care of ourselves and the way we behave, right? So the psychological weight loss strategy is how we're going to talk about intermittent fasting in today's conversation. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Diane Parham. I'm the creator of the online course and community, the intermittent fasting for today's aging woman, as well as our, midli our midlife mindset shift course and community, which is available to our graduates of the intermittent fasting course. I am a woman who is aging in today's world, and I had a season of life where I was struggling with trying to stay ahead of all of the changes that were going on with my body as I was transitioning through all of these hormonal changes that we go through as aging women and pretty much our entire lives as women, right? And I started practicing intermittent fasting as a way to reverse a lot of the things I was unhappy with. I reversed my pre-diabetic uh, diagnosis that I got shockingly at an annual doctor's appointment and have also been able to just really reverse and put at bay a lot of the signs of aging that I wasn't happy with, including uh, unwanted weight gain and all of those things that happen to us women, right? So today we're going to talk about what I really like to coach on, and that is changing the way we think to serve how it is that we want to show up for ourselves in the world or just basically in general. Uh, I do want to make sure that you guys know, because I always get asked this question before we get too far along, that our next intermittent fasting for today's Aging Woman course is starting on May the 6th. You can go to the link in the description box or in the comment section. I just posted it on Facebook and YouTube uh, to get more information about the course um, or get registered when you sign up. So let's get talking about today's conversation. So one of the biggest problems with anything that we find that we're struggling with, and, and this conversation came about from a question that was asked of me and in one of my Instagram lives on Tuesday, and it was like, how do you stick to a plan? Like, how do you not quit on yourself, basically, right? And so that's where today's conversation is going to start from. How do we create something for ourselves that we really can stick to because that is what we're saying we really want for ourselves? And so I like to coach it in this kind of way. There's a gap often when we feel like we're constantly starting over and then we feel like we're failing on ourselves and then we have to start over and I'm the only one that can't, you know, find success with this and I'm a self-sabotager and I fall off the wagon and I throw in the towel and all those things that we tend to just justify very casually because, you know, that's just the way our society has been you know, kind of set up around setting goals, failing at them, or even just a simple thing like taking care of ourselves and really making sure we're showing up as our best self. And here, you know, our mantra is we wake up every day looking and feeling our best and living our most authentic life. And we do that through a series of choices that we make throughout our day. So what, what you do, right, versus what you want, when there's this conflict gap that's where there's a lot of stopping, starting, failing, starting, feeling discouraged, all these things that we feel, right? When we see other people having success and we're the one that we feel like is just not able to ever let it happen for ourselves or make it happen for ourselves. And this is where we have this gap of what I say I want versus what I really want. And oftentimes what you just casually say you want is where we make those decision-making processes that don't connect to the big thing that got you started in the first place. So when you have this conflict gap, which creates these kind of feelings, oftentimes these feelings then reinforce the failure activities, right? So I uh, might as well just keep eating what I'm eating because I already made a mistake or I do really good Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, but Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I self-sabotage. So I start over on Monday. And so you feel like you can't stick to a plan. And so what I always like to recommend and where I think intermittent fasting is really an amazing tool and, an, and a really powerful opportunity for us to check back in with the thoughts that we have, because for a majority of our day, 
we don't really have to make decisions. If you're really wanting to incorporate an intermittent fasting lifestyle, or you really want to create some change in how you show up for yourself and some of the behaviors that you've had in the past, then if you just do nothing for a majority of your day, it really does help you reframe how you think about showing up for yourself. And when you get into that deep fasted state and you get to feel that energized sense of calm or what we like to say here is hunger and feeling the magic that hungry can create for you because you're empty but powerful, everything about how you think about food and food showing up in your life and how you really stick to what you say you want changes for yourself. Because why would you ever want that feeling to go away, right? And so then when you think differently, you're like, this is what I do because what I do is what I say I really want. Then we get rid of this conflict gap. We can change the way we feel. When we change the way we feel we will in fact show up differently for ourselves. And this is what I call the winner's mindset. When your brain and your heart are doing things that your brain and your heart say that you really want. So you're bringing the whole complete package to the party and the decisions you make are going to be based on where you've firmly planted those feet of yours. And you're like, this is how I'm going to show up for myself. And I'm going to create this authentic life for myself. And I'm going to stick to the decisions that I say that I want for myself. And I'm going to make it happen, period. Anyone who's winning at anything has developed this kind of mindset. And I want to make sure that you understand you can bring it to this lifestyle as well. Creating that winner's mindset that you are the most important thing. The decisions you make, what you do is actually going to serve what it is that you want. So you see the end result and you can prove to yourself through how you're feeling in your confidence, the results that you're seeing, how empowered you are about taking care of yourself no longer having to rely on someone else. The success that you see in other areas of your life, because when a woman shows up for herself with that winner's mindset, empowered and encouraged and confident in how it is she is showing up for herself in her life, that pours over into every other aspect of your life because you're going to walk into the room with your shoulders pulled back, your head up high with the confidence that you have to make decisions in every other aspect of your life because what you practice in taking care of yourself, you will then be able to implement in all the other areas of your life where you need to show up and take care of yourself as well. You will start to feel the joy in decision-making processes around food and when it is you fast and how it is you're going to care for yourself, maybe with supplementation or products that you put in your life, all the things are going to be coming from that mindset of joy. And we always make better decisions for ourselves when we're feeling joyful about what's going on in our life. We are going to have the commitment that we need to stick it out and see it through. Because when you start to see the success and you have to build that inner confidence in yourself, then what you do is what you want. And that will line up perfectly. We get rid of that conflict gap and we create the mindset that we are going to win at everything that we say we want to win at because that's just who we are. You will start to be honest with yourself about what you do because what you do should lead to what you want. So you stop letting things like, well, I just fall off the wagon or I throw in the towel or the weekends are hard for me or my friends are peer pressuring you. Those kind of things are no longer going to be your excuses because you have the shift in your mindset and you will create the belief system in you that you can, in fact, no matter what age you are, no matter what season of life you're in, can have all of those things that you say that you really want. When you start to see those results, everything in your life will start to change for the better and you will start to show up as your most authentic self. It is very psychological. This is why we talk about the mindset here and choices that we make and how we feel versus how many grams of protein you should eat or is kale really everything that everyone says it is or is it not? Like who cares? All we need to do is to make decisions on rinse and repeat that allow us to wake up every single day, plant our two feet firmly on the ground, look our best, feel our best and know that we are doing it in our most authentic way that serves what it is we say that we really want. Ladies, when you get that, 
I promise you, life will just be super fun to live. You'll have great optimism for your future self. You'll live in the present and you won't be relying on the past anymore as your frame of reference for success or failure because every single day you will know that you're making your most informed decisions. This is how we teach the intermittent fasting course. This is how we live here in this community. This is how we work inside the midlife mindset shift course because the more women that we have empowered walking around in the world, the better the world is going to be. And sadly, it does start with our food choices and how it is we're taking care of ourselves. So let's take that sadly and create an encouraging and optimistic mindset around that so that the informed choices we make will then pour out into the world around the people that we love and around the people that we associate with. So I hope this is encouraging to you. I want you to really try to let go of that diet mindset I want you to not feel like the only way that you can be successful if someone hands you some what they would call perfectly curated meal plan that has nothing to do with you as the individual woman and then you take ownership of how it is you're going to take care of yourself and that really does happen when we create the winner's mindset and we do finally prove to ourselves that we can stick to the plan, that we can be successful in what it is we say that we want because we're doing it for ourselves and our future. Okay, let's see. If we have some comments in the comment section that I can address for you, and then I want to share a little something I'm super excited about, hopefully you'll be excited about as well. Natalie, I am still trying to increase my water intake. I'm doing fine besides that. Thank you for your continuous support. Okay, here's what I want you to think about, Natalie, so you find the win. I want you to just create a goal for yourself, not my goal. I always say 100 to 150 ounces of water is the goal. What if that's not a goal that's really, really authentic for you? And so set a goal that you think you can be successful at, but that will also get you the results that you say you want. So let's say, Natalie, 80 ounces of water is where you're going to start that. And you're going to prove to yourself that you can, in fact, do what it is you say that you really want and just start with something and start tracking it and prove that you can in fact be successful at that. One of the things that I really like you guys, I talk about things. I have two right here, right here, water things, right? I have gallon water bottles. I have cute water vessels. I have tracking systems with how much, you know, how I start my day with my sparkling water and certain periods throughout the day that I get water done. You have to play games with your mind in order to make this work, Natalie. And so create a game around it. Uh, when you have your water, do you need something cute to make it you feel super excited about drinking your water? Do you need different color water bottles throughout the day? Like it's all very logical to do if it gets you to your end result. So don't white knuckle it. Don't feel like um, you know, it's just supposed to happen automatically. You have to create a system around it. We talk about this in the midlife mindset shift course a lot about habit triggering and habit layering. And are there things in your day, Natalie, that can trigger you to go drink your water and set those systems up. Let me know if you still need some help. We can talk about it again. Um, but let me also know if what you're doing, maybe implementing these little changes has helped you feel a little bit more successful in that, because I do want you to feel like you are hitting your water goals. And so sometimes we just have to reframe what our water goal is. Heather, day three for me. Ooh, I love it. Stacking those bricks one day at a time. Yes, I love it. Cindy, hello. Good to see you with us. I love a girl with a Y in her name. Heather, hello. So Fonda, hit the thumbs up and like button. Yes, my friend, so Fonda, thank you so much for always reminding me to say that to everyone. We love it when we get that encouragement from the audience, whether you're here live or you're catching this on the rebroadcast, those thumbs up, those comments in the comment section, sharing all those things really do help our community. Um, Carrie, good afternoon. You look amazing and jealous of your beautiful tan. Thank you so much. Um, I am very, I'm trying to be very good about my sun exposure this year. Actually, I'm going to share with you guys. I'll do it now. I have been committed. You guys know I'm a Frey fan. I talk about it all the time. Uh, I wasn't really using their C serum or their Revive Me. They just relaunched these with some new, um, new, uh, what do I want? Ingredients, I guess, uh, a lot cleaner. This one is like a retinol that's plant based. So if you've ever used retinol before for your skincare routine, you know it can be a little harsh um, and you get the peeling effect and all that kind of stuff. So they have a plant based retinol in here. I have been committed to using these every single day for the last 30 days and I'm in love. Um, and so if you're looking for a CME, uh, C serum or a firming, a daily serum for anti-aging, I'm going to put the link. I have a little, um, 
I'll put the discount code for you guys. They're doing a promo where they're relaunching this. And if you use my link, you get um, to get it at $95. And I think it's usually like $164. So I'll put that in there. If you're looking for a C serum, if you're looking for an all natural uh, kind of anti-aging retinol type of firming serum, anti-aging wrinkles, all the things, these two together, perfect combination. Uh, links in my in the comment section. I'm going to post it on Instagram too, but I'm in love. I committed. I promised them I would use it every single day for 30 days and I'm loving it. Another little uh, thing we can keep on our um, bathroom countertop from Frey, which is gorgeous. January 23 grad, midlife mindset shift member. I use these lives to keep me focused. Scarlett, I do too. So thank you for hanging out with me. And I love uh, the fact that we get to be a little bit more intimate uh, with everyone in our midlife mindset shift course. So I appreciate you being here. Liz from gorgeous Maryland. I love that. I am I also am working on my water intake from 24 ounces to 48 ounces. Uh, wasn't too difficult, but having trouble getting more. Did you get 125 ounces a few days ago? Yeah, I really shoot for between 100 and 150. I am absolutely at my best at 150. I'm at my best sleep wise. I'm at my best like energy wise. I'm at my best everything skin wise, all the things at 150. But I do give myself that range between 100 and 150 because some days I just get busy, right? And so just give yourself a very um, realistic range to shoot for. Put systems in place. Fancy, cute water bottles. You can get them at, you know, on Amazon. You can get them at Walmart. Like they're not expensive anymore. Um, take them with you in the car. I have my rule that if I get in the car, I take a full 25 ounces of water. I don't get out of my car till the 25 ounces is done. Check. That's another 25 ounces in the system. Um, another little trick for getting more water down because the trick is just to get it in is drink it through a straw. I can sit at my island with a 25 ounce glass of water with a straw and get it down within like almost seconds, right? So you have to play the game. Don't be afraid to make a game around it or your own little challenge around it. And it's easy to get your water up. And then once you have that system in place, it's just what you do because you've created that routine. Judy, so good to have you with us here today. Felicia, March 23 graduate. Love these live chats. Very motivating. Yes, Felicia, thanks for coming back. My new grad. Uh, I love having you guys here in our community. So Fonda, thank you for keeping us encouraged weekly. Just when what I say I want seems to not be working, I get on a live stream and hear what I need to carry on gets me thinking on the right track. Yeah, we all need this. You know, life's busy. Brains are constantly being distracted by things or being checked out by things, right? And so this is a really good opportunity for all of us to just come back to center and really commit to, if we're going to say we're going to do a thing, just do the thing, right? Um, and end that little conflict because that just then makes everything else in our life seem so much more stressful and complicated. Um, so Fonda, winner's mindset, all I do is joyful and makes my life better. 100%. And yeah, day three for me, very good so far. I love it. I love it. Keep us posted on how you're doing. Karen was here Monday, had lost my groove, was inspired to revisit lessons and have had 20 hour fast days, past two days and already feel better physically and mentally. Thank, thank you. Glass of water, um, glass water bottle helps me. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, I was feeling, uh, I shared it. I think it was on Instagram again, or maybe I shared it here Monday with you guys. I was feeling really frumpy this week and it's probably just the it's probably just that coming back uh, from a beautiful vacation. I don't know. I was just feeling really off. Um, and so I fasted 21 hours on Monday and I fasted 25 and a half hours yesterday. I felt on top of the world yesterday. Um, I was out running a bunch of errands. So I was super busy. Um, I kind of felt a little edgy around 21 hours. So I was shopping and I got myself a black iced tea, unsweetened, kind of just, you know, a little extra treat. Uh, and just felt great. Um, and I'm feeling great. I feel like I'm kind of like living on the backside of Monday and Tuesday um, and Wednesday. And it's super easy. It's the quickest fix you can do. You don't have to do a bunch of detoxing and cleansing and all that. You just fast. Let your body take take care of everything for you. So I'm glad you're feeling like you're back in it, Karen. That makes me happy. Uh, former graduate. I love it. Okay, so there's the um, there. This is called the Power Duo. You can get it on Frey's website. You know, I'm all about all natural ingredients for us. So C serum, um, and this is called the Revive Me. And then if you guys are, oops, if you're the Diane set or box fans, 
you guys know that this um, Purify Me is my favorite exfoliating uh, facial cleanser. And it comes in this thing that's really hard to squeeze. And so if you've got the travel set, they have this little body that bottle that's a little easier to squeeze. And now they're making that in a big bottle. So this will be coming out uh, later this month as well. So all uh, reformulated um, eco-friendly packaging um, and you can get a big version of an easy squeeze purify me. So I'm super excited, you guys. I hope you guys are excited too. Um, nothing like some good skincare. So Fonda, for Natalie, increase your intake of water like some have to do with their fasting window. I sun charge my water to get most out of, get the most out of the hydration. Yeah, you have to make a game out of it, 100%. You have to just trick your brain and put systems in place. I like to say, make your water almost something that you're tripping over in your day that it seems ridiculous that you're not just drinking it. Like make it that simple. And oftentimes I think we make things more difficult than they need to be. Just put water bottles everywhere. I have a water bottle by the side of my bed. I have a water bottle in the bathroom. I have my cute little water bottle cups. I have my water gallon water bottle jug. I love my sparkling water in the morning. Like I can't wait to wake up and have my sparkling water. So get excited about it. And I think when we change our mindset from, oh my gosh, drinking a hundred ounces of water, is such a drag, or it's so hard to, oh my gosh, this water is the best thing I could put in my body. I'm super excited to start my day with 25 ounces of water. Like when you start to just simply change the conversation in your head, it makes things so much easier. So see if you can maybe do that this week as well. How did you get your daughter? Oh, how did your daughter do it or track me? She did really well. Um, she ran a race she usually doesn't run. She like, she, uh, they did some timed races and she ended up being one of the faster girls. So she went in and fought her way on that race. So stood up for herself. Always love that when our uh, daughters are doing that for themselves. So she did that race and she did really well. And then she did, she busted a plateau time that she was on. Like she couldn't break this time. And uh, so she broke her time and got a PR on another race that she did. So she's really excited. And then we have an amazing friend um, who's going to become my like business photographer who does um, the photography for the meets and stuff. And she took some amazing, like most powerful pictures of my daughter running. Ugh, stunning. Like she's just stun a stunning, beautiful young athlete. So uh, we're super excited for her and all the things that she's doing. And she's she's loving it, which which we love also. Danita, I love, love your love. I needed this so bad. Yes, 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 yes. You deserve to really feel successful in taking care of yourself. Like think about it. As a woman, if you can feel successful taking care of yourself, then think about all the other areas of your life that will just be so easy to feel successful, right? But we got to take care of ourselves first. I I say being selfish first is the biggest priority I think most women should have is be selfish first. So when you're selfish and you're taking care of yourself the best, you can also show up for the other people in your life the best also. We don't want them to get, you know, the worst of us. So we have to take care of us first. Um, that's my motto all the time. Wanda, so I'm making soup and chili for a friend coming out of the hospital and I fast until four. How do I taste test before they pick it up in two hours? Answer, taste test and start fast earlier, 6 p.m. instead of 8. You trust the fact that your soup and your chili is just going to be fine the way it is and that you don't have to taste test it is what I would do. Just trust that you made it great um, or taste it when you take it to them. It's going to be fine. I'm sure you did it fine. You're fine. Don't taste it. If you want to fast, don't taste it. If you're not concerned about it, breaking a fast one day, then taste it. No big deal. You just go back to doing what you need to do tomorrow. You get to make that choice for yourself, Wanda. Don't make it a big deal. Linda, when you broke your 26-hour fast, were you one meal a day or did you do four hours? Um, I, I kind of just didn't worry about it. Basically, I broke my fast at 6.30, which is a lot later, or 6 or something, which is a lot later than I like to start eating. That's when I usually stop eating. So I just kind of let last night be what it was. Um, and then I'll, I'm right back to where I need to be today. Uh, I'm going to have a shorter fast today, which is usually the way it works out when you go off the 24-hour cycle, right? And so I just go right back into the rhythm. This weekend, I'll be back into my 20 hours of fasting. Monday, I'll go back into whatever it is Monday is. I'm probably going to do like 
whenever I feel like breaking my fast. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, I do 26 again or 25 and a half or 25 or 24. I don't know. I always let it just go with the flow. So Linda, that's what I recommend doing is if you're going to do things outside of the 24 hour window, you have to just understand that one fast is going to be shorter because you're creating a fast that's longer. And then you just trust that you're going to get yourself back in the groove of whatever your rhythm is. And that's how today's going to be for me. No big deal. I will, um, and I will end my feasting time like on time today. So again, my fast is probably gonna be a little shorter today because I have calls tonight. And so I want to make sure that I'm done with my feasting early so I can prepare for my calls. And then I don't end up eating after my calls, which would be way too late. So you get to ebb and flow it, Linda, super fun. Um, Lynn, I watch your videos and it always helps me, keeps me motivated. I love it. Thank you. That's the whole purpose, right? Um, glass of water bottle help me with my, okay. I already think I read that one. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So, um, for mm -hmm. things, if you're interested, you have the link. Uh, I always recommend going through my link. I think you get the best deal. I think the $95 for the see me and the other revive me, which is basically a plant plant-based retinol. You cannot get a vitamin C serum or a retinol together for $95 anywhere. Um, and while you're there, if you want to get free shipping, you can throw in a little hair serum thing. I'm loving this. I am in my, I told my husband, I'm in my come as I am era. Uh, thank you, Ta Taylor Swift, for all the era usage, right? Um, I'm going to, we're going to, me and my husband just committed to getting out and doing a walk every morning with the dog. And so I might show up post-workout uh, with a fresh face and hair pulled back with some hair serum in it and just let us move and groove our way through the spring and the summer this year. I used to do that a lot back in 2017, 2018 and kind of got away from it and have been feeling very kind of boxed in and structured about how I show up on social media. And I think I'm just going to kind of go for it and just be all, all just me, however you get me when I show up. And I'm, I'm kind of excited about it. Uh, I love that you guys are... Um, encouraging each other in the comments. I love it. Do you get the chills or shakes when you fast? Chills for sure. Shakes, no. Shakes are probably coming from the fact, Carrie, that you're not balanced hormonally yet. Um, and so you get that kind of hyper um, hypoglycemic type of feeling with the shakes. And that's just your body saying, that's what I call your body and your hormones being in like the beginning stages and they're kind of not really trained for you yet. Once you get your hunger hormones tra trained and you don't have those hypoglycemic type of episodes, which is basically your body just nagging at you to eat something um, and you're resisting. So drink some water. You'll get through it. Once your hunger hormones are balanced out, then you won't get the, those feelings anymore. Everyone who fasts that I know of uh, gets cold, right? which is why when we launch, we're going to be opening up our merch shop here with our very famous saying, hungry where the magic happens on some crew neck sweatshirts. So you can wear a crew neck sweatshirt to keep yourself warm. It's just what it is. Um, no real scientific data is available for us to understand why we get cold when we fast. It's just, it just happens. And so, you know, it's better than hot flashes is what I always say. Just bundle up and enjoy the fact that you're, when you get those chills, you know, your body's doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing. So I look at those as winning signs for sure. And I just lean into it and put a sweater on. Jackie, uh, my zero app just came up and told me I completed 250 fast, a milestone. I have changed my lifestyle and I just maintain now. There you go, my friend. I love that for you. Um, I posted on Instagram yesterday that I did a 25 and a half hour fast and everyone freaks out when I post like a picture from an app. So I always want to, and I love that you're using yours very consistently, Jackie. I'm not an app person at all. I really like to just flow through my day. I don't want to have to turn things on and turn things off and all of that. So the only time I really do use an app is when I do those longer fasts. And I think, again, it's just a psychological thing for me. But before I could even start my fast on Tuesday, I had to cancel a fast that was like 477 hours because I start apps and I forget to stop them unless I'm doing something very specific, like a longer fast. So if you're not the kind of person that is good with tracking on apps because you get distracted or discouraged. You don't need an app. Jackie, if it works for you because you see those milestones and that excites you, then fantastic. Use your apps. But um, I always like to make sure that I'm very clear that I do not use an app on a daily basis. I literally now go with the flow because I never doubt leaning into a fast. And when you get to that point with your intermittent fasting where you don't doubt 
getting, you don't doubt the fasting opportunity, like you're not fearing when you have to eat next and all that, then you really don't have to use an app because you'll always just lean into the fast. And so that's what I like to encourage here also. Okay. With that being said, we're going to bust out of here. Don't forget if you're new to our community and you haven't yet um, jumped on our email list, make sure you do so. I put the link in the comment section. Uh, of the live and it's always in the description box or you can go to for today's aging woman.com. If you have been on my email list, we, um, this week we're sending out emails to get you to re opt in. If you don't re opt in through the emails that we're sending, um, through email this week, uh, then you will be removed from my email list, which would be a bummer for me. Um, I haven't been emailing much and I'm not a big heavy emailer because I don't know. We come here and we talk. I can tell you everything I need to go here. Uh, but once we get our email cleaned up and my email system back up and we're landing in people's inboxes again, I'm probably going to start doing like a monthly newsletter or something like that to kind of keep you guys in the loop on things. So if you get an email from me saying opt in, if you want to be on my email up, email list, please opt in. Otherwise you will be um, removed and you'll have to opt in again later down the road. So, right. I'll probably quit using it soon now that I got, got, the flow down. Yeah. You know, it is one of those things, um, Jackie, I think it is super encouraging and it is, it creates the psychological, you know, it's a psychological benefit for us, right? When we can see the success of what we did or what we say we wanted to do and we actually completed the thing. But once you get really mature into your fasting and it just becomes who you are and you default to the fast, then I think we can let go of some of those things and just live our life, which is the ultimate goal here is we want to live our life most authentically and we want to show up as our best self. And that just means that we show up doing what it is we say that we want. I love you guys. Thank you for sharing everything that you shared uh, with us here um, on today's um, on today's live. If you need anything from me, also free to reach out to me. Otherwise, I'll see you guys back here on Monday. If you have something that you want me to bring up for discussion or bring up as a live coaching topic, always feel free to email me or you can send me a message either on Facebook or you can leave a comment here on YouTube and I would love to bring it up and uh, break it down for us as far as a coaching topic. I love you guys. Have a great weekend.